Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR, my YouTube channel. I had a very interesting question the other day come up. Uh, if you're using WSJTX and you have a couple of different radios, uh, like myself, I have one in my uh, home that's a 7610, and then I have uh, another one in the camper that's a 7300, and I take my laptop between uh, the camper and my home. Uh, uh, how do I switch between radios quickly? And uh, that that comes under configurations. I've got uh, I've got a few different ones in here. I've got one set up for my logbooks that use uh, DX Lab Suite Commander uh, as the rig in WSJTX. And then of course, uh, if you're using Ham Radio Deluxe, uh, you can set the configuration up for this and uh, uh, use uh, Ham Radio Deluxe for the rig in uh, WSJTX. It's real easy, uh, you know, once you, you probably have a configuration that's working for you good and maybe it's still uh, set as the name of default. What you can do is go in and clone it and uh, clone that and when you go back to the configurations you'll have a copy of it. Uh, go ahead and switch over to it and uh, it'll, it'll bring up that configuration and you can see the fonts went back to the default uh, default fonts. Then I can go into settings and I can set it up any way that I want. Uh, the default doesn't have my call sign or grid square in there. Uh, it doesn't have a rig in there or radio. So I can set it up the way that I want and uh, click OK. And uh, oh, it needs a, a audio input. Let me go ahead and put that in there. Click OK, and uh, so now I'm on that configuration. It shows it's got the little dot next to it. I want to switch back over to the 7610, uh, which is the radio that I'm using right now, and that's on COM6. I can switch back over to it, and it comes back with the, the fonts that I, I set up for it, and uh, of course the configuration that I set up. So you could also use it, I guess, you know, if you're at a different grid square, you could set up uh, configurations for different grids. Uh, maybe you got a, a cabin on the lake and you take your laptop between the cabin and your home uh, and it's a different grid square. You could set it up for that uh, configuration up for that. But I use it uh, uh, for the radios and then, uh, yeah, for the rig, uh, I've got one set up for uh uh, Ham Radio Deluxe, uh, DX Lab Suite Commander, and then uh, if I'm using VSPE, I do videos using it, so I've got a configuration set up for that. It's real easy. I just go in and highlight the one that I want and then switch to it, and it goes right into it. So uh, I hope that helps. Uh, maybe you can figure out a different way to use configurations. And if you have any questions or if you got comments, uh, how, how, how are you doing it? Uh, please make the comments below and I'll be able to I'll answer the questions the best I can. And uh, uh, we'd like to hear uh, how you're using configurations. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. If you haven't already, ring that bell and you'll be notified when I put out a new video. 73 and good DX.